Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at another LEGO build, but before we start, I just want to say that I'm going to be doing a two-year anniversary Q&A thing, and if you guys have any questions for that, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. But uh, that's just a quick announcement before we start this video. You guys really like the Stormbringer set that I did not too long ago, so uh, I'm doing another one here, of course, as I promised, and so this one is the Confrontation in the Throne Room, which was the original name, and then they changed it to um, Throne Room Showdown, which is, I think, the official name of the set. If you guys do enjoy this, remember to subscribe to support my channel and like the video if you do enjoy it. And uh, yeah, I will probably be doing a tutorial on this build and the figures and everything later if this does well. And you guys want to actually see that. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into the build. So starting off, let's take a look at this side of the entire like palace. Of course, this is supposed to be the Palace of Secrets. This is just part of it. And uh, so starting off on this side, we've got this kind of camera thing that you can move around. It's like a security camera, uh, which is a pretty simple build. Doesn't really do much, just aesthetics. Of course, we've got some nice detailing with the banners and the sword and everything, just kind of making this massive like doorway. And uh, yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. And then uh, down here, we've got this little kind of um, gate thing which has a little play feature that I added in. I don't think this is in the official set. So moving on to the middle here, we've got the entire throne with all its detail and everything. Uh, it looks very grand, very uh, royal, I guess you could say. And of course this is for Harumi. So of course it's got a lot of fire on the whole thing, and uh, it just I think it looks like a nice throne. You've got some kind of uh, blades in the back that you can angle around. You've got the swords that kind of, um, you know, like frame the entire thing. And uh, yeah, it looks like a nice thing. So within this throne, there's actually a little secret feature where you can take out the key, which I'm assuming is to unlock the uh, door for um, the cell that's on the other side. And uh, yeah, so that's just a little hidden feature that's actually in the throne. And that is actually in the official set, so that uh, actually works out pretty nice. With that, let's move on to the last part of the uh, set here. And this is, of course, kind of a prison cell on the other side where we're going to be holding Lloyd. And uh, of course, Harumi is most likely going to capture him and uh, just lock him in this cell. Of course, that's what the key's for, to kind of unlock this um, kind of prison cell. And it's, it's kind of symmetrical somewhat to the other side, although it does have these stairs that lead up to it. And uh, I think the whole thing looks pretty nice. So of course, the entire area can kind of be folded in to create this kind of more enclosed shape, or if you're gonna like store it on a shelf or something, you can make it more straight. And uh, yeah, that actually works pretty nice. It's just somewhat angled with these little uh, ball joints here. I think a lot of people are going to like this set, mostly for the figures, of course, as they are pretty amazing. And uh, it's a very great way to get figures. This is pretty much another Cryptarium Prison-styled uh, build, uh, with a lot of figures and a smaller build. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into the figures, because I think this is probably <laughs> what most of you are here for. So starting off, we have Lloyd, who, of course, in this set, is going to be uh, trapped in this kind of prison cell that I said earlier, within the entire palace. And uh, of course, he just has some handcuffs on. Uh, which is kind of the accessory that he comes with, and I think that's fine, honestly. Uh, as well as everything else, he's got a pretty simple outfit, of course. This is just a custom uh, outfit for his Season 9 version. So next up, we have another ninja in this set. This is, of course, Nia, and uh, she's going to be also part of the Resistance in this season. And so in this case, she actually does have her hood, and I just used uh, her Hands of Time torso to give her a slightly different look from her Season 8 outfit. So third up, we have Pixel slash Samurai X, which the figure is the exact same as her Season 8 counterpart, not just in this version, in the actual set is exactly the same. Uh, so there's nothing really special with that. So that's pretty much just Samurai X. Next up, we have Skylar, which I think will be probably a fan favorite in the set because she's making a return in Season 9. And uh, this is pretty much just a combination of the two Skylars that were released uh, prior to this. Lastly, we have Harumi, or the Quiet One, depending on what you want to actually call her. And uh, this is basically her evil form uh, when she's uh, actually the Quiet one. So I think the interesting part about this is of course the hair and the face because the hair was custom painted to be white. I believe it's just Ava's hair from uh, Nexo Knights actually. Uh, the face is just pretty standard city face with a red uh, stripe across it. So once again, thank you everybody for watching this video and uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys all in the next video.